Disney, a word that most connect with being a major entertainment source throughout the world. A man that has changed the way people think, feel, and are influenced by, all through the revolution of the industry he helped create. The reaction of the public through Disney's appeals to their opinions of society allowed them to further their success and attract a larger audience to gain support for their corporation. The reformation of their outreach to the audiences through products and a new connection to them via their theme parks modernized the way Disney was immersed in the lives of the people. Animation as the 20th century knew it would be forever changed with the coming of the Walt Disney Animation Studios. The inventive spirit of Walt Disney caused him to believe that sound and music was essential to creating an animated masterpiece. Being a pioneer of this industry, Disney ventured into the realm of synchronized sound as he established a partnership with Power Cinephone Studio. This revolutionized animation as the use of Cinephone equipment played a key role in 1928 when Disney developed their first cartoon short film, Steamboat Willie, debuting his prized character, Mickey Mouse. As Disney's experience in creating movies increased, he created a weapon that nobody in the movie making business had thought to develop. The invention of the multi-plane camera, made specifically for Disney's animation features, was the revolutionary tool that carved his way to success. If you're broken down in this manner, it is possible to control the relative speed with which each individual part of it moves to or away from the camera. But the moon remains absolutely still and so it will always remain the same, neither growing nor shrinking in size. Of course, our cartoon camera does not shoot sideways, but is placed above and shoots downward toward the drawing. Since this new camera used many planes, we called it the multiplane camera. Disney's innovative state of mind affected animation produced in years to come. Snow White, made in 1937, was the first Disney film created with his multiplane camera. We accomplished a great deal with Snow White, and we want to go on from here. We have learned that the tempo of a feature differs from that of a short. We learned hundreds of things. We have an organization of young men to whom nothing is impossible. Walt Disney. Walt Disney also revolutionized the skills and expectations that his future animators would possess in order to generate what would become legendary films of animation. His letter to an art instructor expressed his want of innovative and hard-working animators who would improve the methods of animation to make them even better than today. The point must be made clear to the men that our study of the actual is not so that we may be able to accomplish the actual, but so that we may have a basis upon which to go into the fantastic, the unreal, the imaginative, and yet to let it have a foundation of fact, in order that it may more richly possess sincerity and contact with the public. Walt Disney. As his animators enhanced their proficiency in animation, they learned new techniques for film production, such as live-action animation. Sleeping Beauty was one of the first Disney movies to be produced with live-action animation in the 1950s. This allowed the animators to draw the more complicated movements using a live model, allowing more realistic animation. With the coming of the 90s, Disney Animation Studios raised animation to a higher standard, with advanced technology and computer-generated imagery furthering their success. The success of animation prompted Disney's films to reflect public views to attain a greater reaction from the public and to continue the production of profitable films. From the time Walt Disney began making movies in the 1920s to his death, he was greatly influenced by the ethics and cultures of America, which in turn was displayed in his films. The Disney filmmakers distorted the history of some cultures in order to make them more marketable. In an interview with Dr. Ward, a professor at the University of Dubeck Theological Seminary and the author of Mouse Morality, she addresses the factors that cause tensions within cultural and ethnic groups and the unethical messages found at the start of Disney's entrance into the world of animation. People write stories, even at Disney, and people are shaped by their environments and by their beliefs. And yet some of their particular biases and prejudices made it into the early films. Much of Disney's early work was racially charged, to say the least. Some very offensive messages in there. But I think if you look back in history, in our in culture, we have a very insensitive culture at that time. 
in which we needed a civil rights movement to respond to it. One controversial film in particular, produced by Disney in 1946 entitled Song of the South, displayed a character named Uncle Remus who symbolized slavery in the southern United States during the height of the antebellum era. Uncle Remus glorified slave life on plantations by making false assumptions, creating a happy-go-lucky story that incorrectly portrayed history. According to the executive secretary of the NAACP, Song of the South unfortunately gives the impression of an idyllic master-slave relationship, which is a distortion of the facts. Disney's success in creating popular films attributed to the company becoming progressively insensitive in regards to culture. Later on in the swinging 60s, The Jungle Book made its debut, coinciding with the civil rights movement, reinforcing the need for equality. This production depicted obvious racial degradations, revealing the African Americans as subclass animals, explained by Professor Jacqueline Maloney of Harvard University. These gorillas that sound like, and orangutans that sound like black people who want to be like men, but will never be men. That's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cub and stroll right into town and be just like the other men I'm tired of walking around oh, I want to be like you Although Disney, along with his animators, likely had good intentions with the creations of their motion pictures, conspicuous examples of racism and clouded moral values were showcased due to personal bias and the time period in which the films were produced. In 1992, the movie Aladdin was released. It appears to have been influenced by the military affairs of the time, namely the Persian Gulf War. The war caused Americans to have a negative outlook on the Arabic people and their culture, which was illustrated in this film. Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face, it's barbaric, but hey, it's home. In this excerpt, the people from the faraway place are described as being violent and savage. In the same token as a savage portrayal of the Arabic people and culture, the film Pocahontas incorrectly portrayed Native Americans as a savage people. Disney portrayed a softened version of the racial genocide carried out by the Europeans against the natives. According to the New Internationalist magazine, there is no mention made of the fact that Pocahontas was kidnapped, held hostage, forcibly civilized and converted to Christianity, then married off to a colonist who viewed her origins as a curse. The revolution of animation was a key factor in determining Disney's path to popularizing its films with their reaction to the modernization of the times and the adaptation to the values of society. The popularization of the Walt Disney Productions called for an increase in their marketing skills and the spreading of their label. The stardom of Walt Disney's most prized character, Mickey Mouse, in 1928, fostered the bolstering of small businesses and products through their soon-to-be symbol of Disney through a mutualistic relationship increasing the familiarity of the brand. Many Disney characters were present in newspapers during the earlier years of Disney's career which advocated the Disney name mainly advertising to children who were the aimed audience of Disney films. In 1955 came the first theme park named Disneyland in California, reforming the Disney business. Thousands of people excitedly came running to the opening of the new Disney theme park in California. This provided the Disney Studios with surplus revenue and aided the innovative spirit of Disney, improving the theme park and building new facilities to appeal to their consumers. Through the growth of the Disney company and the modernization of society, Disney has been able to reach out to a large variety of people by keeping up with modern times, such as social networking, and continues to grow along with their consumers' fast-paced lives while still being accessible for all ages. Disneyland is something that will never be finished. Something that I can keep developing, keep plussing and adding to. It's alive. It will be a live, breathing thing that will need changes. A picture is a thing. Once you wrap it up and turn it over to Technicolor, you're through. I wanted something live, something that could grow. Something I could keep plussing with ideas, you see. The park is that. Walt Disney. Along with their extended marketing outreaches, Disney has expanded their parks from one theme park, Disneyland in Anaheim, California, to Disney World in Orlando, Florida, as well as to theme parks across the globe, including Disneyland Tokyo, Disneyland Hong Kong, and Disneyland Paris. Disney's expansive and global marketing has affected the people around the world. The Disney company has changed and modernized its techniques with the times and has shaped our generation as we know it today. Disney has revolutionized the world through time, with the animation industries which caused the reaction of a cultural perversion for a greater impact from its audience, affecting the merchandising industries which include the expansion and globalization of their amusement parks. Disney's success included the adaptation to the country's biased views of the world and has affected people of all ethnicities and ages. 
This contributed to the reform of Disney's marketing system, proving to be an effective implement of their business. Disney's lasting influence has created a social revolution through many generations, becoming a part of life for all people and continuing to play a major role in their lives for years to come.